You have to buy this. Usually all the shopping is done on the shopping day and today the shopping is not done. If we wanted to do that, we'd have to drive to Jersey. It's every plus size person's nightmare. You travel to a fabulous location, but your suitcase gets lost along the way. Oh, just go and buy new clothes, your thinner friends might say, because they don't know that if you're above a certain size, your chances of finding clothes that fit are small. Well, I'm about to turn the nightmare into a dream come true. I'm gonna visit eight cities with just the clothes I'm wearing. Then I'm gonna try and find a day look and a night look to explore the city. Will I be too nude to leave the hotel? Woo! It's the Empty Suitcase Show, and we're about to find out. I'm back. It's Devin. On this season of Empty Suitcase, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to start some drama. Okay, so we're just gonna go some shopping and just eat some meals. It's gonna be like chill. Okay, cool. We're on our way to Philly. Philadelphia. And Devin is joining me again. Yeah, I've never been to Philly before. I was there once. I was six. I touched the Liberty Bell. I wasn't supposed to. Did you crack the Liberty Bell? All right, here you go. Let's do this. Let's go. Woo. For this season of Empty Suitcase, I'm going to have a variety of friends join me. Devin is joining me for this episode, Freddie will be here for the next two, and Jen is joining me for the last four. Here we go! Two ladies in the city. Oh, I don't know. I don't have a coat. Yeah, once again, you didn't put your jacket on. One of these episodes <laughs> I'm going to learn, but it won't be this one. We're staying at the Sandra Apartments in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which is like the coolest Airbnb apartment situation I've been in. Yeah, and we got it last night, uh, but Devin hasn't seen mine yet, mm -hmm. so we're gonna show it somewhere. The sunlight on my face. I feel alive. Devin is like, what's in this for me, <laughs> selfie-wise? <laughs> Today, we are going to be shopping. We're going to be buying some clothes. Okay. We talked before about how difficult plus size shopping is Dead. in Seattle. Mm -hmm. Would you like to know how difficult it is in Philadelphia? I love data. So we looked at four major shopping centers here in Philadelphia, and we counted all the women's clothing stores that are in them, of which there are 226. Guess how many of them offer a size 20 or above on a regular basis? Based off of what I learned from Seattle, I'm gonna say nine. Actually, this one was a little bit more optimistic. Really? The number is 26. Hey! That's a negligible percentage! <laughs> the thing is, uh, half of those came from the King of Prussia Mall, which is one of the biggest malls in the United States. Of which there were 13 there. So if you don't live anywhere near that one mall, you're out of luck. So this isn't a precise statistical analysis. It's simply an anecdote to explain to you why this sucks. Now, as I say in every empty suitcase episode, if I get much larger, like around above a 24, my options get much lower. So the fact that I can make the show at all is in fact a privilege. So today we are going to visit a resale shop here in Philadelphia, Curb Conscious. As with all resale shopping, it's like a little bit scary normally if you are a plus size person. Obviously this is a resale shop that caters to plus size people, so hopefully it will be less scary. One can only find out. Let's go. We are here at Curb Conscious in Philly. Here with the lovely Adrian. Hi. So tell me a little bit about your store. Curb Conscious is a plus size exclusive resale store. We only buy items that are trendy, still in style. We don't do any vintage. And we've been open now about three and a half years. And we won Best of Philly this year. So <gasps> super exciting. Hey. Plus size budget friendly. So that's yes, awesome. Thank you. So today we're going to be looking for two looks. Okay. We are looking for something very uh, fun and cozy and fall for the day okay. and then okay. I see uh, and then we are going to be looking for something like cute and like chic for nighttime okay I think we can do this I see sweaters <laughs> I see sparkle I'm excited all right you ready to start shopping let's do it let's do it bye <laughs> I saw this 
outfit with the mustard yellow skirt on the mannequin and the sweater, and I like it. Do you like it? We actually thought the same thing. We just have to figure out whether or not it's the right size. Let's squeeze in here and see. We've got the sweater, Forever 21 3X. That's my lottery number. Oh. We also wanted to ask about these overalls, since apparently overalls are back. H&M 22. Okay, so a regular 16. <laughs> Yes, I'm glad that overalls are back to complete the trifecta of clothes that are difficult to pee in that are also cool. I almost wore a jumpsuit today. Oh. I had to change my mind. <laughs> Definitely. It won't work for you. I know, but it's still cute. <laughs> also, this outfit is really cute, by the way. You're very lucky you're oh. not a mannequin. <laughs> Literally, the second I walked in, I was like, this is for me. I feel like I was denied my Wednesday Adams moment in Seattle, mm -hmm. so I'm coming back for her. How do you feel about a sweater dress? I don't own any. It's kind of a wrap sweater dress. Ooh, it's a pretty color. Plus, if you spill wine on it, it's not a big deal. Ooh, this is gonna be too big for me, but it's fine. Wow. <laughs> I'm still gonna try her on. This is a very Space Jam moment, which is honestly every moment for me. So Kristen, I brought you back here to show you the thing that I had my eye on for you this entire time. <gasps> what? Did you bring a black bra? I'm seeing this with a high-waisted black skirt and a black bra underneath and just this button. Okay, so I love you, but it is like 50 degrees outside. Just try it. Okay, well the thing is, is I've tried the weather. I know what it feels like. Says the girl who came to <laughs> Philly in a sundress. Well, if, listen. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna try it. Wait, oh, what are you? Oh. So I'm trying to find things that I don't own anything that are like, mm -hmm. because my problem is I own like 50 yellow dresses and like eight dresses with cherries on them for some reason. You don't have a camo or like a olive green jacket? I don't wear things in olive green. <sighs> You look so good in olive green. How do you know? I've never worn anything you in olive green. You had that one thing that Jasmine dressed you in in olive green. I remember. That was like two years ago. Uh, hello, I have a good memory. <laughs> pants time! Um, I've loved your evolution and journey with pants. My other a long time enemy, Lane Bryant, is also going to make an appearance right here. These are cutie pie pants. <laughs> it's like, you know that fan fiction where like the two people are enemies and then they eventually uh, become married? Is that you and Lane Bryant? Yes. <laughs> I don't own any joggers. I love a good jogger. For all the jogging I'm not doing. Mm, you know. <laughs> okay, we're now at my longtime rival jeans. So I'm looking and I see these like Lane Bryant jeans. Lane Bryant again. I love a chambray. It's like denim, but like has an office job. Also, I feel like this shirt is a little bit too small for me. It's a beautiful pattern and I could just wear it open, not with a bra. If you want to, I support you. Okay. <laughs> While we were looking around at all the fun stuff, Adrian had a wonderful pick for me, which is this beautiful jumpsuit. I overheard you talking about olive green, and this one immediately came to mind, and it's not yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually not a big coat person because I get very hot on my own, mm -hmm. but I love this one. I love a pea coat moment. I also think this might be fun for night, too. Drama. This is fake fur, though, right? Yes. I feel like this is the coat that you wear nothing underneath and you show up to someone's apartment and you're like, hi. Okay, well, I won't be doing that, but. You can though. A for effort. Let's go try things on. All right, let's do it. Show me that body, girl. <gasps> Look at this real, genuine reaction. Oh my God. I think this is my favorite dress I've ever seen you in. Really? I felt like it was like a little bit too tight on me. No, it hugs you like a glove. You have to buy this. <laughs> How's it look from the back? Delightful. That was the reaction I was going for. It was just an excuse to show you my butt. Ooh, let me see you walk away. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Just walked in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> it's your favorite skirt. I love the skirt. Yeah, I, I didn't realize it was gonna be so like, on my body. For some reason I was just like, oh, it's gonna be like a little A-line skirt, because apparently I don't understand geometry. But I was like, should I try this one on? And Mike was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like the shirt doesn't really fit, but I feel like I could just like put something on underneath it or I could tie it like this and just, you know, go plunge out. Yeah. I know that was your idea, but we're gonna pretend like it was mine. Okay, that's fine. This yeah. is your show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is my farmer look. It's a little bit violet Beauregard, but make it fashion. <laughs> I kind of do look like a blueberry. <laughs> I regret to inform you that the Lane Bryant jeans are very cute. This entire outfit is very cute. The sweater we raided off the mannequin. The jeans I reluctantly put on my body, and they are cute. Very I'm fair. sorry to eat my little words. Om nom nom. They're tasty. <laughs> Hello. <gasps> Oh my God, Wednesday Adams. She's a witch and she has no student loans. Oh. Only the first part is true. <laughs> I'm like the Velveteen Rabbit. Widow edition. <laughs> it's gorgeous. This is the Eloquy dress, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at her. She's Victorian with an Instagram. <laughs> I have to stop doing this. Come on, girl. Okay. 
I'd like to introduce you to a sketch I have for an outfit. It's not quite fully formed yet. I love lingerie, that jacket on you, holy crap. Well, the bra is a placeholder, it's mm -hmm. not really a choice. Mm -hmm. I know you really want me to wear like just full boobs out in the middle of October in Philly. It's the city of brotherly love. It's this. brotherly love, not sisterly love. Whatever, it's the new millennium. So I need to get something very plungy here. We've done more with less before, so. This is true, all right. I'm gonna think on it. She's here, Rosie the Riveter is here. Oh, but better. Aww. I love you in olive green. You look so good. We almost didn't pick this one. Yep, this is the curve conscious pick. I know. I was putting this on, I was like, I don't know. And then I was buttoning it up. Everyone here was like, uh... conducting a choir of compliments. How do you feel about this? <laughs> I am not used to wearing things like this. Mm -hmm. It's the waist is slightly low for me, but there is pockets. I do like that I can sit like this. Yeah. And be like, I brought a lunch pail. <laughs> Hi. I have visions for how to style the rest of it. Mm -hmm. I have thoughts, I have feelings. What I love most about this dress is that its ability to hide a variety of mishaps in the food department, which we might need later. Mm -hmm. Plus it's cozy. Oh, is it another good dress selection by yours truly? Okay. No. Keep well, you go in your purse. Uh, <laughs> jokes on you! I didn't bring my purse. <laughs> Get ready, sister. Okay, cut. We went shopping. We did it. We had such a great time at Curve Conscious. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. And if you're in the Philly area, come check out Curve Conscious. This yeah. place is incredible. Yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. I just got back from buying shoes and it was a hot, frustrating nightmare. It took like an hour and a half of just wandering back and forth between the aisles. I think what a lot of people don't realize is that my feet are also big. <laughs> I got really tired before I could finish putting together my night look to so like make it a little bit easier on me. Our line producer suggested that we buy some stuff online and then just go pick it up in the store. But the problem with that is, here's the situation. I know we wanted to place an order at the nearby Target so that we could go pick it up. But the problem is, is that none of the Targets have any plus size clothes available for pickup, at least in the Philly area. If we wanted to do that, we'd have to drive to Jersey. I, but we live, this is a major city. I kind of don't believe that there aren't like plus size clothes. It, it seems ludicrous. It seems crazy. What I kind of want to do is just drive to the Target and see. I feel like if I go there and there's nothing there that confirms what I know from online, which means that we have to drive to Jersey. I mean, Jersey's not far. It's just across the Delaware. It sounds far. But it is kind of the name of a different episode. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go check this out. How did it go? It is true, there are no plus sizes in that store. There are, however, the plus size mannequins posed next to a sign that says, who, what, where, available online in sizes 1X to 4X. I don't get it. Well, I think the plus size mannequins are just wearing like XXLs or something, but it's kind of like, come on. So I grabbed like these four tank tops, and of course I didn't try them on in the store. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried them on when I got home, and they don't fit. The only other solution we have is like that other thing that I bought today that wasn't supposed to be like in this show. Through sheer coincidence, it happens to match like all of the accessories and stuff that I bought for it. Okay, I don't want you driving all around tomorrow. The original vision was great. The fates were against you. And I think we pivot. Okay. We'll go to Jersey in a different episode, not this one. <laughs> Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. So we were gonna go to a fall festival on a farm, but we just found out that it was canceled because it's raining outside. No. So we're having to pivot a little bit to a surprise different day activity. Ooh. She's indoors now. I'm gonna fix my hair. Mike walked in and was like, your hair. And I was like, I'm not done yet. Cool. This is the magic and process, Michael. Okay. Because we had to do a quick pivot, the fine folks at the new Liberty Distillery decided to host us last minute, so thank you so very much. Kristen, show me your look. Hello. Ah. Hi. I'm so glad you went with the jumpsuit. It's incredible. I love the olive green on you. This jacket and this jumpsuit came from Curve Conscious, as well as this purse. And then I got the shoes from Nordstrom Rack. And how hard was it for you to put this outfit together yesterday? I mean, is this you just kind of wanting to take credit for being brilliant? Yes. <laughs> 
So yesterday I was like, I want to do the jumpsuit, but it's going to be cold. And Devin was just like, wait a second, I have an idea. And she brought over this coat. And then I was like, I have a further idea. And then I picked up this bag. So what's our activity while we're here? I know this is a distillery. We're going to be doing a whiskey tasting. Also, because this place is bring your own food, we're going to have some Philly cheesesteaks. I love that our first meal is going to be whiskey and a Philly cheesesteak. Our afternoon activity will be a nap. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, I want to drink. Our supervising producer brought us some cheesesteak from Ishka Bibbles. Neither of us have ever had cheesesteaks before. Oh my gosh, I just tasted the grease on the paper and it's really good. <laughs> someone was like, hey, Devin, would you think this moist sandwich is delicious? I'd probably have been like, no. But now I'm tasting it, wow. Oh, no, I dropped it in my water. It's fine. It's all going to the same place. Ew. <laughs> my stomach. Now that we are full of meat. Feeling very cozy. Let's throw some liquor on top of it. Hi, I'm Danny. Uh -huh, Hi, I'm with New Liberty Distillery, and I'm going to be feeding you whiskey today. You're like a whiskey Ooh. fairy. I am. What you're going to want to do is hold it by its stem, put your nose over the top, open your mouth, and inhale through both your nose and mouth at the same time. Kind of like when a cat sees something for the first time. And they do that. Yeah. that. Ooh, I taste it. Right. When you take your first sip, hold that liquid towards the front of your tongue and let it slide off the sides before you swallow. Ooh. Yeah. Look at these little legs. That's a wine term, but I'm still going to use it. <laughs> Can I take this on the plane? Well, you have to buy it first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Next one, we're gonna. Oh god, I'm no, so behind. You guys, you guys, take your time. Do we have like an extra glass I can just like come back to this in? There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just gonna like. We're just gonna keep that. Why did you do Why that? Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get another glass. <laughs> it's a single malt made entirely out of malted barley. It tastes and smells just like dark chocolate. It also tastes like hay and grass, okay. and leather, and tobacco. So. It kind of tastes like a barn in a good way. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate oh. this sip to my Dutch boyfriend. It tastes nothing like dark chocolate or hay. I really like all of these because they taste so different. And also, they're very smooth. Danny, thank you so much for <laughs> showing us so much about the world of whiskey. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, our whiskey fairy. All right, it's time to get ready for our night activity. I hope my new concept works. I'm sure you'll be lovely. No, I already am. Ah! <laughs> I'm a bat. So it's time for our night activity in Philly. Come on out, Kristen. Are you looking for me? You killed it. Originally, I was gonna do this coat uh -huh. and that Space Jam type skirt with the maroon trim, but we had a little debacle with mm. the tops. So I decided to pivot to this dress, a little Wednesday Adam number yes. that I got just for myself, just because I was like, it's there, now it's mine. So obviously this coat and this dress are from Curve Conscious. Mm -hmm. uh, this little bag is from Nordstrom Rack, as well as these little shoes. Then these earrings and these clips are from Target. Oh, I love this look so much. The jacket and the shoes make me think like zaddy. Like, let's go. So tonight we are going to Soraya, which is a very buzzy Lebanese restaurant here in Philly. Let's go. Cheers, Kristen. Cheers. Thanks for having me on this trip. Oh, I'm so glad to have you. It's always fun to hang out with my fram. Ooh, there's like a little bit of nutmeg in here. It gives you a certain tongue to happiness. It's <laughs> French for <laughs> Ooh. So I already squished my pita. I didn't squish mine because I'm a good girl. A little dip. Oh my god, that was incredible. We just gave each other a look like we were gonna kiss, but it was about the food. <laughs> These taste like Denny sausages, and I mean that in the most reverent way possible. <laughs> so normally I have thoughts on cauliflower. I think it's basically the styrofoam packing peanuts of vegetables. I agree. It's like a tabula rasa for your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's not particularly interesting, it's just kind of there. <laughs> but this is like tender the way that a mother should be. Spicy. <laughs> the way that a conversation between two people who really need to have it out should be. Ooh. And there's cashews, which are the ingredient in my favorite kind of cheese. Wow, this was the most erotic description of cauliflower. Are we gonna kiss again? <laughs> no. <laughs> I am full. 
We were gonna go out after this, but I think it's bedtime. Thank okay. you so much to everyone at Soraya for having us tonight. This, this was, was delicious. Yeah, it was delicious. Now I won't go to bed. In my cozy little dress. Oh, Kristen, I've had a marvelous time in Philly. I know, it's been so fun. And we put together some cute outfits. We had some issues with putting together the outfit at the last minute, as well as our first day activity. Whoops. Thank God I just bought an extra outfit. I love that you pushed yourself outside your comfort zone with the colors that you wore and the jumpsuit. I know, I'm really proud of me too, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much to Curve Conscious for having us. And also thank you to Sonder and New Liberty Distillery for hosting us and thank you very much to Soraya for having us and letting us taste your beautiful wonderful menu. I really can't thank just the city enough. This has been amazing. This is Devin's last empty suitcase it's, of this season. That's why we're wearing sunglasses because we're, we're in mourning. We're in mourning for me. <laughs> it's been so fun having you on the show. Freddie and Jen are gonna be on the show as well in the later episodes. Okay bye. Where are we gonna go next? <laughs>